Hi, this is Chris with American Hako. I'm going to show you how to program the Hako FR870 preheater using an automatic profile and a thermocouple. Today I've got the Hako FR870 in front of me with just a basic board and I've got plugged into it this standard K-type thermocouple. I've also got a simple set of tweezers and some shears here with some Kapton tape so I can attach the thermocouple to the board. Let's go ahead and attach that right now. I'm going to use the little pads that we've got here on the board and that'll be my attachment point. So let me take a piece of the cap on tape here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the thermocouple down on the board, making sure that the bead's on the pad. And I have a pair of tweezers with me real quick, just so I can make sure that I get a nice seal of the tape against the board surface to help mitigate the amount of uh, peeling that the cap on tape is going to go through during the process. I just want to make sure it's down nice and nice and firm. So now that I've got it affixed, I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside my board holder like that. It's now clipped into place and now I'm going to go ahead and set up the programming on this unit. So in order to do this, I need to change it in the mode here, which is power mode, to auto and thermocouple. And I'm going to do that simply by pressing the mode button. And you see now I've got auto and thermocouple mode lit up on the front panel. This is telling me this is the uh, program number here. I've got 10 different programs I can put in. I'm at the first one, which is zero. And right now I'm reading the thermocouple temperature. So what I want to do is I want to put a profile in here. To change this profile, I'm going to hold down the mode and the star button simultaneously. And that's going to change that program, F0. Now I'm going to have six different parts in this program. There's going to be a target temperature and a time for the first stage, a target temp and time for the second, and a target temp and time for the third stage. Three different steps in a rework process. Same thing with the preheat. We're going to go through three different steps. So in this first step here, you can see I've got my target temperature is going to be set for 50 C. Here I can press my star, which is just like pressing enter on the keyboard, and move to my next value. And I can use here the knob to make my adjustments. I can choose any temperature I want. So in here, I'm just going to leave it at the 50 C for this demonstration. I'm going to use my knob again, this time changing from the second to T2, which is now my time in seconds, so I've got 30 seconds. My next one would be T3, which is my next, remember, target temp and time, this is now my next target temp. I'm going up to 75 C at this point. And again, fourth part is time. Fifth part is my fifth temperature, which will end at 100 C. And my last part of time of 30 seconds. Of course, I can change any of these at any point in time just by turning the knob to, to adjust my setting point, T1 through T6, and once I press enter, I'm on this side and I can use my knob to adjust the value here. Once I've got that programmed in place, I want to hold the star button down, and I'm going to be asked, yes, if I want to store this, and I am going to acknowledge that and say yes. And that's now programmed in to F0. Of course, if I wanted to have a different profile in here, I wanted to keep F0, and I wanted to do something different, I would hold star down to get just F0 going, and at this point I can use my knob to choose any of the 10 profiles, 0 through 9. I can choose this one, press star, that tells me I'm on that profile, and run through the programming process again to set up a different profile, say for a different board. So in this case I've set up F0, I'm going to choose F0 as my profile, I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and we're going to see how this works. Now you can see here we've got ST1 for my first stage. The lamps have come on and we're starting to preheat the board. And you can see the thermocouple here is reading the temperature. We're at 39C, 40C, we're going up. Remember our target was 50C. You'll notice the, the lamps are starting to flicker and dim. That's because the system is realizing that it's approaching that temperature. Once it hits the 50C mark, the timer starts down from 30 seconds, which is what we programmed. 
the onboard microcomputer will maintain that target temperature of the 50 C for the 30 seconds. And we're coming up to the end of the first stage. And you'll notice, now we're going to start ramping up and we're in stage two. Now our next stage target is going to be 75 C. And again, you see the lamps start to dim and flicker because it realizes it's approaching it. We don't want to shoot way past our point. We want to be as accurate as we can. So we hit our 75C mark and we're counting down. Now, of course, I'm mentioning here in C because that's how the unit is set up. You can go in the parameters and set it to Fahrenheit if you're more familiar with that. and we're approaching the end of stage two. And you can see this will start up from the 75C mark and we're now on stage three and we're shooting for 100. Now of course the size of the board, the thermal inertia that it has, that's going to affect these times. So you're going to have to determine that in part of your process setup. What you're going to need for the board, how much time and at what temperatures and we're approaching the target of our last stage. And at this point, we're at the 100C mark. It'll maintain this for the next 30 seconds as it counts down. And at the end, the unit will actually turn off completely and the board starts its cool down process. You can see there's more activity to keep the board at that 100 C mark. Obviously, because we're at a higher temperature, it's dissipating the heat faster. And now the process has stopped. And at this point, the board can be left to cool down. And when it reaches a temperature that's comfortable to handle, you can simply remove it from the board holder, remove the thermocouple, and re-instrument the next board. And that's it. Mm -hmm.